You know you stop me there while And it's time for the mission. Are you ready? Here's what I want you to do for our warm-up today. You take out your student notebook, and I want you to find the vowel teams. Go ahead. Remember last week, we labeled this long A because this first row all sounds like long A. Okay, so find this, and let's start by reviewing these. Point to the first one and repeat after me. A I bait A. A Y play A. E I G H eight A. E I vein A. E A stake A. Excellent. And now let's flip back a page and review some of the R control vowels. Go ahead, find the AR. Let's do all the sounds that AR can make. AR car R. AR beggar -er. And let's do OR. OR horn or. OR doctor er. OR worm er. And then we know that ER, IR, and UR all say er. Okay, nice job. And now let's do some of our sound delays. Okay. What are these two words? Meat and meat. Which one means uh, something that you eat? Yeah, this one. It's got eat inside of it. M-E-A-T. Let's look at this pair of homophones. What do they say? Heard and heard. Which one means, I heard you, I was listening, I heard you. This one, it's got the word ear inside of it because you hear with your ear. Spell it with me. H-E-A-R-D, heard. Okay, one more. What do these say? Berry and berry. Which one is a fruit that you can pick off of a tree or a bush? Spell it with me. B E R R Y, a berry. Good. Okay, my friends. So we are going to review finding some different ways to make a sound. So, in order to do this, you need your whiteboard, please, and your dry erase marker. Okay, and I want to know what says E. And you might want to keep your vowels poster, your vowel teams, open right there with you because just like that first row was long A, this second row was long E. There's some new ones we'll be learning this week, but if you want to go ahead and next to it and write E with the macron over the top to let you know that row is long E, that will help you. Okay, so here's what you are going to be doing on your whiteboard, writing all the ways to do long E. Okay, so pause if you want more time. Otherwise, kind of follow along with me. So you should have E dash E, vowel consonant E. You should have just E, like in me, an open syllable. So we have vowel consonant E, open syllable, and then we also have Y and I in open syllables. And then there are three double vowels. Do you know what those are? Well, I have them right up here. E-A, like in eat, add that to your list. E, E, like in Jeep, add that to your list. And E, Y, like in key, 
Okay, so you should have all of these on your list. Count them up. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways to do long E. That's what makes the English language so hard sometimes because it's like, ah, which one is it? And uh, guess what? We're going to learn two more today. So get ready. Add these to your list. We have I E peace E. So let's go ahead and add I E. And the other way around, E I. Last week we learned E I can say long A like in vain. But now in the word ceiling, look up at your ceiling, say ceiling. Do you hear the E? It's spelled E I. So both I E and E I can say ceiling pictures see this house and here's the ceiling up there repeat after me e i ceiling e and our next keyword we said i e piece e it's a puzzle piece so really get a good look at those and now let's try it with the standard cards i e piece e Repeat after me. E I ceiling E E I vein A. Okay. Let's go ahead and on your whiteboards, we are going to try writing some words with these sounds. You write them, we're going to try reading some. So here are my syllable frames. I have two syllables here. And let's see, we're going to start with just a one syllable word. Okay, so if I scoop this one syllable, and let me go ahead and circle for you the double vowel, so I'll write my D down here. And it's IE. Do you remember what IE says? IE piece E. So what is this word? Years. And this one's a little tricky because the R kind of changes the sound of it. Years. You hear the E, but then you hear the R too. If you're fierce, you're brave and strong and fierce. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, we have a two syllable word here. Watch me scoop the syllables. What's this first syllable? It's open, so this is a long E. What does it say? B. And what syllable do we have here? Yeah, it's not vowel consonant E because we have a vowel team right here. And we know IE says E. So we'll put the D down here. And what do we have? B, leave, believe. What do you believe? Let's try reading one more with the IE. Okay, it's a two syllable word. Okay, let me scoop it. Check it out. We have a vowel team here, double vowel, and it actually says long O, and we have a double vowel here, the long E. So what's our word? Goal E, goalie. Are any of you a goalie in soccer or lacrosse, or field hockey? Cool. Okay, so before we get into writing some of these words, I want us to go into our notebooks. You should still have that open to be helping you. And go ahead and take a second to just quickly color in the ones we learned. So now the new ones we learned are IE and EI. Okay, and you can do the other ones. At this point, we have learned um, that all of these, bread is going to be the oddball. It doesn't say long E, it's a short E. The rest of these say long E. So go ahead and take a few seconds and color those in. Okay, and once you're all set with that, we can come back and talk about some rules. Okay, so even though we have so many ways to make the long E sound, remember, usually at the end of a word, it's Y or EY when you hear E at the end of the word. But there's some multisyllabic words that end with IE, like goalie. Usually it's Y or EY, but some words like goalie have IE. Let me show you another example. I'm going to leave the IE. 
And this one's another double vowel. What does this word say? Rookie. A rookie is someone who's new at something. It's their first time, their first year doing it. So sometimes it's IE at the end. Usually it's EY or Y. Okay, very nice. And notice that the long E sound, when it's in the middle of a word, is usually vowel consonant E, 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 A, E, I, or I, E. So there are very few things in our English language that are always a certain way, but we can always tell you the things that are usually this way. So these are the ones that are usually in the middle when you hear E and also vowel consonant E. And then at the end, we said is usually Y or EY. So if you want to make yourself a little cheat sheet of that on here and kind of put an M or an E above it, if it's the middle of the word or the end of a word, that might help you. Okay. So we know that the new vowel teams that we just learned, EI and IE, can also be used to spell the long E sign, but not as often. Okay. They're not that common. There's only a few times. Like we said, um peace here's another one i want you to try field repeat after me field let's tap it out e o d write that one on your whiteboard Okay, so this one has a spelling option, doesn't it? So where do we have our spelling option? We have e o d, right? We know those parts. So this spelling option, what could our choices be? Well, we said middle is usually these ones, right? So we can kind of write all the options. It could be f e e l d. It could be F-E-A-L-D. It could be F-E-I-L-D. And it could be F-I-E-L-D. So now that we know any of these could be right, there might be some that you just know don't look right and you can cross off. Or you might be like, I have no idea. So you need to look in your spelling options. Go ahead and look that up and see which one you find in your dictionary or in your student notebook. Okay, and you should have found that it is this one. So remember, it's not as common to have these combos, but it happens in a word like field and peace. Okay, erase your board. And let's try some more words. Repeat after me. Remind. I want to remind you. Two syllables. Tap it out and write it. Remind. Check it in your spelling options if you're not sure. Pause until you're ready. And then scoop the syllables. Remind. The long E is just an E because it's an open syllable. Open syllable, long E, closed syllable, short I. Okay, let's go right next door and try this one. Baby. And scoop those syllables. Good. Did you remember E, another open syllable? It can be a Y, so I'm going to write the long E above it. And this is open and it says long A. Baby. Okay, just one more word today. Relieve. I'm going to send in a new picture to relieve the one on the mound. Two syllables. Relieve. Tap it, write it, check it in your dictionary. Relieve. Great job, erase when you're done. I'll relieve you.